Okay, so we have this guy, and uh, we're going to create an edge. So, just making this video over again because I found that uh, the old trick I used was no good. Anyway, uh, so when we click on the edges, uh, it can be kind of hard sometimes to see just what, just where you're going or should click. Like you can see, it's kind of like difficult to, uh, yeah, to see where you're going to click. So um, let's undo that. Uh, the thing is, you can't really undo by hitting Control Set, so just be aware of that. But anyway, undo selection will only undo once. Anyway, um, undo selection and show cages. Haven't used that in ages, but uh, now it makes more sense, as you can see. So um, let's just turn this one down. Makes it a bit easier to see just what we're doing. Now it's easier. And it's actually even better to click on point because then you know um, then it's even easier. get this right. So um, that's how you can do it. And uh, then you can uh, create your UV map just by clicking make UV. Um, this is more of a trick. It's kind of like it doesn't have that much to do with selection really, but uh, I'll show this anyway. Um, what we're going to do here is, uh, well, we're going to take these guys and loop it, make a polygon, and cut it. Control X, paste it in another layer. So we got this, right? Put that in the background layer. Now, um, Turn off cages, we don't need those anymore. And we'll use that as a guide. Um, let's see. Um, now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go inside the mouth here. I'm going to go, because if I was to split around this edge inside the mouth, it would be really difficult to do that without any guide. So that's what that is for, this black line. That's a guide for going inside the character much easier. Uh, so, um, but it really doesn't look like it helps a lot now, but what we'll do here is we'll, uh, let's turn this down, turn this way up to 100%. Okay, so now I got something like that. Now you can see this edge going there inside the character. Um, and to make even a better guide, I'm going to loop this. So now it's even easier to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in two. Uh, normally you wouldn't do that, but just for the sake of this uh, preview. Uh, so now I can start using Make UV and boy, and uh, let's go for point mode. I think that's easier when we got these points selected. So uh, now I'll just click one here, another one. And you see when I click here now, it won't work, but we'll just turn off, ignore back face, hold down control, and now you can see that it selects those points that it should. Now, 
this kind of reminds you, I guess, about those uh, things you used to draw when you were a kid. You drew, you drew the points and then it made a character. Remember that? I'm revealing my age. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, uh, undo here doesn't work. I mean, you can't click Control Z, it won't work. So you have to click undo selection, and you only got one. Just be aware of that. So uh, if you do a mistake, though, uh, you can uh, deselect them. So I can deselect. Now, it's not that easy in point mode to deselect, but I can do that in edge mode if I click in the middle here. So anyway. Um, so you can see where this is going. And now you would think that uh, you would click make UV, but no. Uh, if you have the point selected, that won't work. And if you go down here, down in the left corner, and click on edges or polygons or anything like that, it will just screw up the whole thing. Uh, so what you have to do is to go into point statistics and uh, click minus here. Now you can make the UV. And we're done. We'll go to UV texture. And there you go. Say select UV island. It's another plugin. Wow, that was slow. Anyway, it worked. So um, it's another good plugin, by the way, if you haven't checked that out. So um, I think that's it. Uh, a couple of tricks on how to go about selecting and uh, creating UV maps.